Welcome to another segment of Luce and Bean Behind the Scene. I'm dressed all cozy and comfy because tonight is uh, Christmas Eve and uh, we are having a cozy evening uh, with family and uh, or maybe just the two of us and uh, I'll tell you all about it. Welcome Lovelies. I am very excited to uh, talk about uh, Christmas Eve traditions and a few other things. And of course, this amazing dress from Chris House. I am in love with this dress. I just think the lines are just absolutely gorgeous. And it feels amazing, amazing. Oh my goodness, it's so cozy. It's one piece. It looks like it's two pieces, but it's one piece. It's so cleverly designed. It's got great pockets. I love, this is a French terry. It's a fantastic fabric. And I love the color combo. And they match my booties, which I love. A little hoodie, and you can, of course, zip it all, all the way up, but I wanna show my gorgeous Ceviglio necklace, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, I forget about this piece, but it's, it's absolutely lovely. And uh, my nice little zebra spotted uh, earrings from Siska and a gorgeous ring and a gorgeous bracelet from Ceviclio. And these pieces are also, it's the same pattern, it's called City Lights from Crisas. And these pieces we have in the boutique as well. This is the long jacket and this, oh my God, I love this one. It's like a chiffon, a very light fabric. And how festive is this? This is amazing. This is another beautiful tunic, beautiful and beautiful colors. So anyway, tonight, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, when I was growing up, Christmas Eve was very special, a little festive too. We would all dress up a little bit and we would uh, play board games and it would be a family affair. Uh, my dad would light the candles. We had uh, a Yule uh, stall, uh, which is a, a cinnamon raisin bread and uh, little nibblies and stuff like that. And then uh, we would go to Midnight Mass, which was always yeah, quite impressive. Uh, it, and I've carried the tradition for a long time in, in Canada. We would go to Midnight Mass. Later years, I would, would go by myself or whoever wanted to come. And it, it, puts you in, it puts you a little bit away from all the gifts, the gifts and the gifts, right? The whole commercial thing that Christmas basically has become. So it, it uh, made you go a little bit inwards, which I really, uh, I really like. Now, I must say the later years, and of course COVID happened. Do you wanna go to Midnight Mass? No, I'm cozy, I'm gonna stay home. So I'm become a little lazy. Anyway, never mind. I always dress up a little bit, but I feel cozy. It's, uh, it's a cozy outfit. And that's why I picked this dress, because that's what it feel, feels like. We have got so many festive things to go to, right? Uh, then New Year's Eve, well, of course, tomorrow Christmas. Then New Year's Eve is coming up, and uh, I feel you could wear this too to a New Year's Eve party. And these outfits too. I have to tell you something funny about my Christmas gift, my early Christmas gift from my trusted gardener, Victor, who is an older man who lives in my neighborhood. And he helps me with my gardening. He does the leaf picking up and, you know, mows my lawn and, and he's lovely. And every Christmas he gives me a calendar. And usually it's Audrey Hepburn. It's, uh, or it's been a shoe calendar. Or it's pertaining to fashion. And very, very thoughtful and very kind. Well, this year he surprised the hell out of me. And he gave me, he was kind of shy about it. He said, I have a gift for you. Lucia, and I don't know if, if I'm gonna offend you. Anyway, offend me, it's a yoga, it's, a, it's a, a kilted yoga, and it's men in kilts doing yoga poses. Oh my God, I said, Victor, you make my year. This is gonna be amazing above my desk. So it's all, it's this hunky man doing yoga in his kilt, and uh, I hung it, I was so excited about it, so I hung it above my desk. And every morning when I came in, the calendar was gone, down. And I, I thought, okay, I'm gonna put it back up. And I never said anything for four days. Well, the fifth day I came in and put the calendar back up and Colleen was there and she said, do you wonder who, why it's down all the time? I said, yeah, I bet you it's Tessa. She said, no, it's Kate and me because it's bad luck to put it up before January the 1st. 
completely news to me. I don't know if you lovelies know, know of this, but, and they are, we were very serious. They say, do not put it up. So I, 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 I can't look at uh, the kilted yoga man <laughs> until January the 1st. Anyway, it's a great, it was a great present. And I thought a funny story that I share with you and let me know what you think about putting up your calendar be, be, before the first. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm looking forward so much to all these festivities. And tonight, especially no gifts, just getting together cozy and nice little drinks, nice little something to nibble on and maybe listening to music or seeing a, a Christmas show on TV. Okay, lovelies, as always, keep on smiling.